Nilly was in queue. Damn it. Why did we not get Nilly? Can you suggest a good save to start with to be rushing early? Uh, any massive save kind of can do a good job there. Hunts are always good for that. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of options. Usually, saves with some sort of uh, economic bonus are very good. It's hard to perform. Hard to perform in anything you're not motivated. Absolutely. Not only that, it's just then the time spent becomes more of a burden than something you feel energized and good about doing. I don't know, I just feel like I, in general, in my life, I have to be a little bit more cynical with and not say yes to everything. That also will contribute to faster burnouts, less motivation and time for other things in life, and so forth. I've just, yeah, just said yes to way too many things throughout my AV2 career. <laughs> what do you think about boa cameras and comms recorded i think it's very bad i think every tournament is becoming way more and more intrusive on the players and i understand that they want that for the show but i also think it might have negative impact on player performance and their comfort. Some people might feel very uncomfortable being on camera uh, while they're playing. Um, I think it's potentially having a negative impact on players' performance and I think in general. Well, of course, players have to be open to, to contributing to the show. Let's put it like that. I think it's still it's getting quite intrusive right now. Recording the communications uh, web cameras on every player. Also, I mean, I even watched yesterday. I, I thought, I thought the cameras were taking up way too much of the screen. I, I didn't like the way it looked, honestly. Maybe, maybe I'm biased as a player. You can never know a, a person's situation and when you know that you're being recorded and there might be thousands of people watching you, you might play way worse, you might um, just feel uncomfortable if there's a camera in your room for, in front, for thousands of people, uh, you know, all these things. I was watching yesterday when they made listen to the players, you can understand nothing. Well, obviously, because yesterday was they were probably talking Russian or Finnish, right? So that makes sense. I like free farm bonus for Franks and cheaper castles, but unless you get into Imp and Paladin, I find them weak. French can also play crossbow and it's underrated just playing like scouts into crossbow for example as French. I think there's a lot of potential for things like that for the Franks because of their economy. To make anything work kind of thing. Cameras on the screen the whole time is a bit much. Yeah I agree. I like the transitions they did to like the player POV. That was cool. But then you can add the camera when you show the POV. I don't think you need to show it at all times. And again, I still think it's too intrusive as a player to force cameras. Cameras, fine, I'll allow it, but that they're recording the communication as well. You have to kind of be careful with what you're saying because you don't want to share details about strategies that might be impacting your... Um, imagine we have a strategy we're planning, but we don't want to... And we're discussing whether we should use it or not, or save it for another round. And then they show that to the public. 
Suddenly we have to be careful with what we're saying and think about that as well on top of playing well. You know. I just don't like it. I guess that comes across. But the most important thing I still think is the player player comfort. Every tournament we're being asked to do more and more as players than just showing up and playing our games and doing our best. Their PV is pretty cool, but I feel for offline events, maybe some player didn't have internet to stream it. I'm not sure how they're doing the capture. I assume it's Discord screen capture, that everyone just has to share their screen. I don't know, though. I imagine so. What save is he? Saracens. Do players not have any control over tournament settings? No. We're just players. I mean, I understand that they want to push production and they want to make the show cool and nice and everything. But I think when it when there's a big chance it could affect player performance, I think then it's a bad thing. When it affects the focus and attention of players, I think it's a bad thing. And I think what they're doing in BOA now could easily have that impact. This is probably a fast castle approach from him. I would imagine. I think he just clicked up. His score dropped. You like T90 new tournament concept? It's interesting. It's also one of those where it's like... It might end up being repetitive and it could be... Dragged out quite a bit. And you might have a lot of matches that don't really mean anything in terms of... End result. But that's how league games are, right? So... I don't know. I don't mind it. I like it. I think it's fine. I'm just gonna go mass scouts and see what happens. Uh, I would expect him to go crossbow or cab watchers. Maybe even monks. That one's about to overchop. Let's see. Ah, oh, he wants to send him forward. Oh, I see, I see. Let's go. It's just not a cost effective fight for scouts, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, I guess we've kind of, let's say, paralyzed his approach a little bit. 
I got a tower. I mean, I shouldn't have built it next to his bills. His bills won't die to the tower right now. It's a bit... A bit awkward. But I think we're in a... Healthy spot. Well, he wanted to go tower rush, right? Well, not tower rush. Monk rush. The Saracens. The smush. As it is called. See what his transition is here. And the interviews were hilarious. Interviews, obviously, that's done like out of the games. You're not doing them while playing the games. That's fine. Interviews are fine. But I, like, I mean, that there's, there's too much intrusive for the live games. That's what I where I find it a bit intr intrusive on players' potential comfort and. Um, yeah, and that's what I think could affect the players negatively. Do you think the rank ladder should reset after six months or a year? Well, I'm not sure. We've, I mean, it's never been like that in AoE 2. I'm not sure if it needs to be reset. <laughs> that could easily be a doubt TC. Yeah, that's a yikes. As Doubt would say. He is microing well though, but I think the TC will... I, I can maybe even take the TC with my scouts at this point. Did he do a town center there? No! It's probably not worth it. Where is it? I guess I should do bloodlines. I'm playing with him. He's my opponent. You're supposed to play with your opponents. Uh, it's getting enough wills now where I don't think I can justify this anymore. Oh, it's open. I... Whoa, he has used to mark her a lot. Holy... GG. Yeah. Not a single pike by him? Oh, he meant pl made plenty of pikes. Or spearmen, rather. He probably has a village elite. Since 3 T's he has been producing. Maybe not anymore. Oh, same. I guess I have a lead in the end. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's super all-in what he's doing there, right? Super all-in. <laughs> 